These new socks, they can be a real lifesaver. My parents got me the skateboard I wanted. It's pretty cool. A public service announcement. Students using clothing, school supplies, or anything around them to stay safe from the next mass shooter. I finally got my own phone to stay in touch with my mom. Some describe it as chilling, emotional, compelling. I really do think it's effective. Tonight there is a lot of chatter about this video, but is it the perfect depiction of reality for our youth, or has it gone too far? It's almost like we're, we're, we're deputizing other children to look for other children who are problems. That is not a solution. We have been listening to your opinions on the new Sandy Hook public service announcement. And one thing is clear, it has sparked a conversation. The number seven is Jacqueline Allen goes 360 on weather. This is the conversation we should be having. These new sneakers are just what I need for the new year. The disturbing images. My parents got me the skateboard I wanted. It's pretty cool are supposed to feel intense. We wanted to focus on this back to school period this time. Nicole Hockley's nonprofit released the chilling public service announcement. Her six year old son Dylan was killed at Sandy Hook. Because parents still think of back to school as this rosy time where you're getting your staplers, your shoes, your 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 folders and binders. Whereas actually it's 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 back to a time of violence for a lot of kids. But the message you take from this video depends on your point of view. So we're going 360 to hear from an advocate, a child child psychologist, a parent, and a student. Lauren Hill is a senior at Chatfield High and state director of March for Our Lives Colorado. She says her reality is school shootings are happening all around her. Deer Creek Middle School, Platte Canyon High School, Arapaho High School, Columbine High School, and STEM. Now she says students are talking about this video, especially the final scene. I finally got my own phone to stay in touch with my mom. I think about all the time, like, what I would say to my mom. I think that they did their job. Dr. Cheryl Ziegler is a psychotherapist who works with children and says this video isn't for kids, it's for adults, and it worked. I think anything milder than that just isn't going to get people's attention anymore. To her, the message is at the very end. School shootings are preventable when you know the signs. Basically, it's everyone's job now if you see something to say something. But for some parents, it just goes too far. It's almost like we're, we're, we're deputizing other children to look for other children who are problems. That is not a solution. Bill Yonkis is concerned about the impact on kids. The problem is much more complex than that. And the last thing I believe we want to do is panic children. From his perspective, this video overstates the problem, pointing to stats showing more risk children will be killed by family or people they know. Would we put out a PSA saying, uh, children, look out for your parents. Let's put scissors in your backpack in case a parent or a sibling tries to harm you? Of course we wouldn't. On Facebook, others agree. Patty comparing it to duck and cover drills, saying we don't need to be terrifying our kids before school. Amber called it propaganda, just another excuse to take law-abiding citizens' guns. But advocates with Sandy Hook Promise, the nonprofit that released the video, say the message is about stopping the next school shooting, however they can. My 15-year-old son, he's in 10th grade now, last week all he did every single day was practice active shooter drills, evacuation drills. This is not right. We're practicing our kids for what to do in the case of danger, not necessarily teaching them how to prevent it from happening. Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. Well, if we missed your perspective in this 360 report, we do want to hear it, I assure you. The email address is 360 at the denverchannel.com or if you'd like, please join the conversation that's going on right now on the Denver 7 Facebook and Twitter pages.